Hey guys, it's Dan, your host your Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today, and in this video, we're going to be doing another video for The Walking Dead. This one's going to be talking about The Walking Dead and a Q&A video, as well as talking about Gabriel's character currently in The Walking Dead right now, and do we think there is a potential for him to be killed off? You think she was kidnapped by the government or something? Our only hope is for me to expose them myself. I want you to be a part of it. Something happened. And they clearly have a reason for suppressing the truth. Okay guys, this is going to be doing another video for today. This one's going to be doing another video for The Walking Dead. This video, we're going to be doing another video for The Walking Dead and Season 11 leading up to Episode 11 called Rogue Elements. Uh, this is Q&A number 2 leading up to the episode and leading up to this weekend's episode of The Walking Dead. So, uh, we've had a couple days uh, and I've heard some reactions for Episode 10. Once again, I've, I've definitely noticed in The Walking Dead fan base that Episode 10 was definitely not as well received as Episode 9. However, it was still a very good episode for a lot of people. Uh, I only saw a few people that said that they didn't like the episode, but for the most part, uh, people seem to enjoy the episode, which is really, really cool. So uh, yeah, now we're going to get into a few comments and questions, just a few discussion topics for today. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into your Q&A comments and questions for this Q&A for The Walking Dead. First one for today comes from Zim, who says that if they were to kill off Father Gabriel, how do I think they would do it? And in what way would they kill off Father Gabriel if he is so to die? So uh, yeah, Father Gabriel, man that is a really really interesting one uh, i know a lot of people have been saying that uh they think he's gonna die and i have been one of them i mean you know season 10 episode 16 i thought he was gonna die uh and then when they had the tower and one more i was kind of like oh they you know maybe trying something there uh and then season 11 he's had some close calls i kind of thought maybe he would get killed by uh what the hell is the reaper's name monsea or something like that and he didn't, he still survived, and now he's alive. And a lot of people still think he's gonna die. Here's my thing. I think Gabriel is becoming safe, and this is the main reason why. I don't think that they're gonna kill him off after all the teasing and after all the teases, and in particular because every fan I seem to talk to keeps telling me, I think Gabriel's gonna die. I think his time's up. I think he's almost gone. Um, that's why I'm saying, at least for this half season, I don't think they're gonna kill him. It's becoming too obvious, and I feel like fans are betting on it so much to where I don't think he's going to die. But if I if I had no choice but to pick a death for him, uh, I would want him to go out fighting. You know, I mean, I, he's the kind of character, especially after all the shit he's done. Uh, I feel like that's one thing we should see from him is him going out fighting in a you know a really epic fashion. But um, Again, they could go for a lamer death. And no, I do not want the comic Dwight death, okay? Uh, I do not want that death for that character. That death would be so stupid for Gabriel. Also because they probably would have started to set it up by now, and he's barely had screen time in the Commonwealth so far. So I'm going to say no, and I don't even think Gabriel's going to die, to be 100% honest with you. Next one comes from Jennifer, who says that uh, apparently one of the uh, cinematographers uh, for The Walking Dead on uh, Instagram was asked about Andrew Lincoln, and apparently uh, they say that we are definitely going to be seeing him very soon. So um, that's awesome. That is really, really awesome. Uh, Jennifer, glad you uh, shared that with us. Uh, that is really, really cool because uh, Andrew Lincoln, as you guys know, we've seen a lot of pictures and we've seen a lot of, you know, obviously kind of evidence leading towards him, you know, definitely more than likely returning for the Walking Dead series finale, which as you guys know, I'm excited for because, well, if, if you don't know who I am, you don't know the channel, uh, I'll just kind of say it pretty quickly here for you guys. Rick Grimes is my favorite character of all TV. So, which, you know, I know is is something that really shocks people. And they're like, of all time? Yes, damn it. Of all time. I love Rick Grimes. I think he's an amazing character. Uh, and honestly, getting him in the series finale, I think is going to be so, so cool. Um, if it, of course, happens, right? Um, but of course, as well, too, if you guys, you know, obviously haven't been paying attention to, you know, some of the, you know, the filming news and stuff like that. Uh, Norman Reedus even took a picture with, you know, him uh, holding the cold python that Judith has. But a lot of people are thinking that it could be teasing to something else there. And that's maybe why they've been doing that. So I don't know. I'm definitely, though, I'm just happy that Andrew Lincoln, either way, whether it's the main show or movies, we are seeing him very soon. And I cannot wait for that. So um, I'm happy we're getting somewhere. Because for a while there, it felt like we weren't getting anywhere with this whole Andrew Lincoln thing. But we're finally making progression. And I'm, I'm definitely... Um, I'm definitely very happy about that because it's been long enough. You know, it's been a long time since Rick hasn't been here and definitely, uh, 
yeah, it makes sense to definitely bring him back. Uh, yeah, definitely agreed. And the final one for today comes from Armando, who says that the uh, character that was in the trailer for The Walking Dead Season 11, uh, the bald lady that was running into potentially Eugene, um, on the wiki, her name is Hart. So, uh, yeah, and I have actually noticed that too. I actually did kind of, uh, well, do my research, if you will, just to kind of uh, double check. But yes, uh, that is uh, what they're calling her right now is Hart. So, um, yeah, you know, like, I mean, it's kind of like the bet I was, you know, kind of talking about for a while. Um, it's probably like a new character, you know, for the Walking Dead TV show, which is, you know, I mean, it's always what I kind of assumed. I know there were some people that were saying uh, that it was, um, uh, what was it? Um, new Frontier, New Frontier. Uh, new Frontier, uh, obviously, that's a separate universe. I, I kind of never expected it, but I know that was kind of like a going theory there for a while. Uh, some people were kind of thinking it was going to be New Frontier, but uh, I kind of, that's why I never did a video covering it just because they're separate universes and you know I did do a video on who she was going to be but I never really discussed all that much about New Frontier I kind of just shot it down right away and that's my main reason why is because it's separate universes it just kind of doesn't feel like it would make sense to me but um you know like I said it, it sounds like her name is Hart so it sounds like we're getting a TV original character here um so yeah it should be definitely uh, very interesting for sure and I'll kind of pull up an image here so you guys can see of uh you know the Hart character um yeah, it definitely seems like uh, we're going to be seeing her probably in the Negan episode, and she may not even be looking at Eugene. They probably just spliced up some pictures in the trailers, you know, what I'm assuming. So anyway, that is that, guys. Let me know in the comment section below all your thoughts about all these different topics. Gabriel's death, the new heart character, Rick Grimes in the final episodes. Where do you stand on all these different things? Let me know and definitely write your comments in the comment section below. So of course, guys, if you're new here, click subscribe and tune in some of my videos for The Walking Dead. Follow Dan's Walking Dead, subscribe, guys, and of course, I'll see you guys really soon for that video for The Walking Dead. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace. Peace out. My God, no!